Shalom. Jo Rastafari. Give thanks and praises in and through Jesus Christos and the Gala Maui. Haila Salasi Baruku. Jo Rastafari. And um we're in this um this uh this seventh day of Fasica. And then we can get a little bit of you know what I mean, an overview on that. And we want to give thanks and praises to the, the for the Revy. Um, Raza Adinos Teferi. We want to give thanks and praises to uh, the Rastafari Foundation. We want to give thanks and praises also as well to uh, the Brethren Lynch EFD uh, and the Rastafari Renaissance.com. Uh, the brother Benai Israel, the brother Tobiah Teferi. We give thanks for all the brethren and sister. We give thanks for the second ambassador of the RSC, the Rastafari South Committee, their brother. Uh, Wunder my best alone, Tefelri. We also want to give thanks and a due praise as well um, uh, for Lid Tawadi, right? The the one the the forerunner, the the first forerunner of the Rastafari um, discipleship radio, the discipleship radio Rastafari discipleship radio. So give thanks and praises, brothers and sisters, in the name of His Imperial Majesty, Kadamawi Haile Selassie, Baruku, God bless. And we are on this day of the Fasika. I pray, excuse the eye, uh, there's more works that, that need to be done and more convenient and more quickly. But we're just doing a brief overview of, of the Passover and Rastafari. And this being a, a, a celebration, really. Um, you know, at the Passover celebration itself is really, Mark Brothers and Sisters, it's important because... Um, it's important for the people. It's important. It's important that the people don't miss the ceremonial event. The interesting thing is that ones won't miss Christmas. They won't miss other events. But the Fasica is to be kept for generation forever. In fact, we learn that in Numbers nine one through fourteen. And if we can go, we'll go there briefly for uh, for a moment, real quick to Numbers. Numbers 9, uh, 1 through 14. And we want to give thanks and praise to Almighty Jah Rastafari for bringing I and I to this point and to this matter, our Emperor, and blessed be in his name, Kedamawi Haile Selassie Baruku Jah Rastafari, in and through our Black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos, um, Jesus Christ, as some would may say, Jesus Zeus. Some would say Zeus, and, and ones would say, well, is, is it okay for us to, you know, use that Jesus? And it doesn't matter that they say that he was white, and actually he was a black man. And why does it matter? Because it says that they worship the god um, Abaddon. You know what I mean? Kind of kind of like, what is that, the modern day y'all the bro? You know what I mean? Because they says they worship the god Abaddon. You know what I mean? And this is interesting because when we put in Abaddon, there's one place this is found in the scripture. Wow. And in Revelations, what? 9-11? As in the Ethiopian New Year, right? 9-11, right? So we have to give thanks and praises to the Almighty for revealing such things. And we go into this verse first before we clear what exactly is is, is Fasica um, a representation of so we go here where it says uh, this is Revelation verse 9 and 11 brothers and sisters this is the proof of Rastafari from the Rastafari codes given by Jah Rastafari so rebel 9 11 rebel rebel 9 11 you know um, the revelation 9 11 the rebellious of the 9 11 this is interesting because the rebellious of the 9 11 right the revolution of 9-11 is the truth, which is Yeshua, Jesus Christos, our black Lord and Savior, and give thanks and praises to the Almighty, Joe Rastafari, who brought us this far, who bring I and I to this message. And in this message right here, in this Revelation 9-11, and these messages are for the whole world, even though Jesus Christos says, I first come to the lost sheep, which is those brothers and sisters. <laughs> Those black brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? Our brothers and sisters on the planet, our, our Ethiopian brothers and sisters. Even though he says, I first came to the lost sheep, even still will reveal that 
Even though he says, I first come to the lost sheep, he said to the lost sheep and the Gentiles. So we're talking about the brothers and sisters, the Ethiopians, the lost sheep, the, some would say niggas, some would say the N-word, if you will. You know, those people, those brothers and sisters, um, and the black and brown peoples, the Mexicans, the Puerto Ricans, the Donites, yeah. and the different sections and the different, the different, the different tribes of our people. From the from from the nationality of Israel, the national name of Yahweh, right? Israel is the national name of Yahweh. So it says that Revelation nine eleven says, and they, and they, and this is the prelude for the Rastafari codes part two. You know, continuing on from Abba Re, you know what I mean? Continuing on from the Abba Re, you know, was <laughs> get thanks, give praises, ja, Rastafari in his name. Give thanks and praises, brothers and sisters. But we come back over here, and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon. But it, it's interesting, but in the he, Greek tongue, hath his name Apollyon. Which is Zeus, and this is very important. This is this was the reason why the man and this this verse really gets clarification. This was the reason why the Romans and the Greeks, in their attempt to basically um, sneak sneak uh, Roman um, the Roman way or the Roman culture, the Roman diamone worship system into Christianity. And that's what a lot of people don't understand because it, when you do the deeper roots of Christianity, you understand that Christianity comes from the East. God bless. Christianity comes from the East. So we give thanks and we give praises to our black Lord and Savior, Giatachin, Master, and if you will, Sensei. If you want to go to Giatachin, Jesus Christos, his father, Gedamawi, Haila, Slasi, Jo. Rastafari, give thanks and praises and say amen. It says, but in the Greek tongue, right, hath the name Apollyon. And Apollyon, if you know anything, just to break it down, is Zeus. This is Zeus. And this is who the Greeks call the sun god. But to the Hebrews, remember, to the Hebrew, right, because they call this, oh, this is Abaddon right here. This is Abaddon, right? And this word gets deeper when you get into the Hebrew uh, context of it when you get to the Hebrew idiom and the literature or you get into the linguistics what the name actually mean but we want to give thanks and praises for the brothers to the brothers and sisters in this revelation the Rastafari codes you know we give thanks and praises and again we say here in the, to the Hebrews the Hebrew brothers and sisters right they say Abaddon right and their sun god, the sun, the representation of the sun, of the sun being the representation of the divine Jesus Christos, the Yeshua. So the sun rises as a representation of Yeshua rising, right? Jesus Christos rising. But we give thanks and praises. We give thanks and praises to the Almighty Jah Rastafari. And we say Shalom in this prelude to the Fasica. To the Fasica Revelation Rastafari Code. Amen.